okay guys so welcome back again so in this video let's make our controller that is following the mvc pattern that is model view controller though we do not have the view in this rest api but we do have models and controllers so currently what we are doing we are doing all the stuff uh, that is all the logic inside this routes file here as we can see here that whenever we are getting a list of all the products uh, we are writing all the logic here itself that is in the routes file and then when we are creating a new product then again we are writing this function here and we are doing all the logic of creating a new product inside this routes file but routes file is not meant for containing all the logic but we should create a new controller for this product to handle all the logic of getting all the products creating a new product getting a product by id deleting a product and uh, and then updating a product so firstly what we would like to do is that that we would like to create a new folder here and we would call it controllers so let's call it controllers like this and this should be in the root layer, root folder and here in this controllers folder we would create a new file and that would be called product controller.js so let's uh, create that file so product dot controller dot js like this and then we should remove all the logic from here that is from the routes file and we will put all this logic back in the controller file here and now to create a product controller what we need to do we need to simply export some functions from this product controller so what we can do we can simply do module dot exports and here we are going to export all the functions that are required by a routes file so firstly let's handle the first case where we are getting a list of all the products so let's call this function something and this should be called getting a list of all the products so let's call it get all products like this and then we should paste in the function here by copying it from here from this async thing up till here and let's remove that function from there and let's paste it here like this and then we are exporting this async function from this controller file and now to use this async function inside this controller file what we need to do we need to import this product model so at the very top what we can do we can simply say const product equal to require and then we need to go up one level to go into the models folder and then we can require that product model here like this and now we can save this and then we can go to our product router.js and here we need to import that controller here or we need to require that product controller in our product route so what we can do we can go here and we can simply say const product controller equal to require and then we need to go up one level to go into the controllers folder and then we need to require this product controller.js file like this and then when we are hitting this route that is forward slash for products we can use this function here from this product controller.js file and we can simply use it like this so product controller dot get all products like this and if we save our application right now and let's go to our rest client here and let me get the list of all the products and here we see that we are getting all the products back which are inside our database so let me click here again and we see that it's working so now why not remove all this logic that is all the logic of creating a new product and then getting a product by id and then deleting a product by id and then updating a product by id inside this product controller.js file so let's create a new function here and this should be uh, find product by id and this is the name of the function so find product by id and you can name it any how you want so i'm calling it find product by id and the function for this thing can be taken from here that is getting a product by id and we can copy this async function from here and let's remove it from here and let's paste it here and then we can create one more function that should be called create a product so create new product like this it should be product and then we can paste in the function from this thing here that is from creating a product and we can copy this async function from here and let's remove it from here and let's paste it here and then we need to handle the logic for some more things that is updating a product so let's call it update a product and this function can be copied from this thing here that is this route here and we can copy this async function from here let me copy it from here like this and then we can paste it here 
and then lastly we need to handle the logic for deleting the product that is this thing here that is let me copy it from here and let me remove it from here and let's call this delete a product like this and let's paste it here and now let's save this application or this file and let's go to a product route and here we should put all those functions which are exported from this product controller.js file and this should be for creating a new product so product controller dot create new product like this and then getting a product by id so product controller dot find product by id and then deleting a product we can do product controller dot update a product like this and then for deleting a product we can simply say product controller dot delete a product and we see that our route file is much more cleaner than it was before and now what we can also do we can remove all these things from here that is we do not require this product require a statement here because that is inside this product controller so let me remove it from here but we do require this create error and this mongoose package inside this product controller because we are using create error and and mongoose package inside this product controller so what we can do at the very top we can remove them from here and we can paste it here at the very top and as the convention says that uh, node module should be at the very top and our required statement should be at the bottom that is our own file should be at the bottom of the node modules so let's save this application and let's save the product route and let, let's go to our rest client here and now let's see that if all the routes are working so let's get a list of all the products so we see that we are getting a list of all the products now let's create a new product so we see that we have created a new product that is imac pro and let's copy its id from here and now let's get a product by its id so let me paste that id here and let's send a request here so we see that we are, can get a product by id so let's update this product also and let's change its price to be 5 triple nine so let's make a patch request here so we see that it's again working and now if we want to delete a product so let's delete this product so let me send a delete request from here and we see that the product is deleted and then if we go to our 404 route so it is already working because we haven't touched it so guys this is how you make your product controller.js file and it is not always required but it is required if you are making a huge application but in our case we could have kept all this logic inside our product rod because it was not so much messy but still since we are following the mvc pattern we need to create a controller file for our products so guys this is how you create a product controller inside your application so guys that's all about this video see you in the next one so till then have a good time